Okay, well, oh, my hair's being weird. Uh, just, uh, made it to two o'clock on a Sunday. Let's see if I can keep that out of the way. Um, we are going to be finishing up what we started last week, which was, uh, let me show you, uh, Vera Ellen style. Uh, this style is meant for someone with fine, thin hair, but doing the best we can with the doll head because I don't really have one that's super fine and thin. But what we ended up doing is getting a little creative with the set. The top here is supposed to be set in stand-up curls. What we did last week was to set the hair uh, using rollers. As you can see, I have removed the rollers, so all we have left is this continual row moving backwards over the head. Uh, so that's where we've modified a little bit, which means that this actually goes a little further back, but for the style that we're aiming for, it'll work. And then we just did the rows of curls down the side and then across the back. And we're going to work on combing this out. Now this was done as a wet set. So it's been sitting for a whole week and it's pretty well, pretty well done, pretty well dry. You can also modify this into a heat set. Uh, you can look um, like using the curling iron rolling backwards, creating these pin curls, which if you go back and watch the Elizabeth Taylor one will show you how to use a curling iron to create pin curls. So we shall start with this lovely comb out. And first is the, the boring part. First is the pulling all of the little clippies out. I'm not going to worry too much about styling just yet. We're merely pulling, pulling pins. Sounds like I'm throwing a grenade. Just pulling pins. It's going to be wild time over here. And then just working all of these little curls out. Uh, we wanted to keep the stem of the sides a little longer uh, as these sides will be combed up to meet the top section, which is uh, one of the reasons why this top section is okay with it being rolled all the way back to the crown and not stopping at the top of the head. Make sure this is thrilling. So we can see more of the doll and less of me, as long as we can hear me. That's that's all that really, that's all that really matters, as long as we can hear me. So I can guide you through the process. Like I said, this is just pulling clips. I'm not worried about what the hair looks like. I'm not worried how it's behaving. This is another relatively loose form style. Uh, you may notice throughout this series a lot of the final results are a little bit of um, a loose curl kind of setup uh, as that was really popular in the 50s. We just come from the 40s and heavily structured hairstyles, uh, victory rolls, uh, really structured waves and we're going into a little more uh, a little closer to wash and wear not not exactly but definitely in that category where you do your set but you're not as concerned about keeping it a particular um, like tight curl so as you can see I'm just finger combing this loose as she was set with gel. Um, so just kind of breaking it up. The nice thing about the Matrix Super Hold 
the super fixer. Anyways, the gel in the uh, Style Link line is that it doesn't get crispy crinkly. It does what it needs to do, but it doesn't turn into a flaky disaster. And then I'm just running my fingers through these guys just to start loosening things up. Imagining that, oh, that's a good look. And we're done. Not really. All right, now that I've kind of finger combed everything a little bit looser, I'm going to use my Denman brush. This is a seven row Denman brush. And we're just going to literally brush everything from the back all the way to the front, but everything will be brushed toward the back. This is a style that is aimed towards being away from the face, being away from the um, really all pulled away from the side. So everything's coming to the back. So we want to have a nice thorough comb out, but like the sides will eventually, they're going to be brought up and back. Hope they're long enough. Uh, first I have doll heads that their hair is too long and now this one might be a smidge short for the look we're going for, but I'm going to just continue to comb her into a fashion. That's, that's not unwearable. I mean, I suppose anything is wearable if you got the confidence to pull it off. So this is just to work through, make sure you don't have anything tangled together. This doll head has seen a few rough days. Her hair is fairly destroyed. So we shall just work by combing, brushing through with the Denman brush to start the look of pulling it back and then creating, uh, eventually creating the pompadour look through the top section. And like I said, I did bring the stand-up curls in the crown back quite a ways so that we could get as much volume as possible out of, out of the top. Uh, enough volume to make it obvious that we're going for a bit of a pompadour style, maybe not so much volume uh, to have it, yeah, I mean, that's a look, you know, from the, from the high heavens going, oh, wow, that's, hmm. but it's modifiable to be as big as you want it. So now that I have brushed through pretty thoroughly, with my Denman brush. I'm going to, for this one, because we are looking at the original style being on finer hair, and so I want to mimic that, is instead of using Brilliantine, which I would normally use, I'm gonna go ahead and just use, I know it's backwards, but I'll use some of the um, Matrix Oil Wonders Amazonian uh, Maru Maru. I hate that word because I can't pronounce it properly. Muru Muru controlling oil. Uh, just to give a little shine, help cut back on any little little fuzzies. So a few drops in the hand, plus it smells nice. And then just working it through the hair. Just letting it distribute. And then we're gonna be using a nylon bristle brush to fully distribute the oil in the hair. Well, that's volume, right? We got volume. We're just gonna add a little, little, little shine to it, try and keep it from, especially this hair uh, in particular, she's pretty dried out. So adding a little, a little, um, little oil and a little, little control is a, a good option. Down here, sorry. Oh, lovely. Yeah, 
and I will say that that definitely um, I'm pretty sure this doll head uh, is uh, too a little too short. I want to just I'm gonna grab my little paper and double check because that makes a difference. Um, yeah, because it says you know that the hair around the face is 10 inches long. The back hair is well below shoulder length, so it would have been a very long um, version, probably like the femme fatale version um, of a midi style cut. Um, in the picture, you can see like that she definitely has, you know, it's kind of nice to see that there's a little bit of a little bit of fuzz because her hair is so fine. It makes me feel better about doing these kinds of styles is knowing that even the celebrities had had their moments of figuring out what their, um, you know, it's not perfect all the time, which I can very much appreciate. So we're just going to come in and start working on a little shaping. Yes. So if this was, if this is long enough, if the hair was long enough, all of this would be uh, probably twice as long so that it would just group together and be able to just be pulled back into combs uh, because this particular doll head is cut in more of a uh, short midi uh, haircut it's a little bit um, a little bit trickier to gather everything together at the crown just to encourage the distribution of the oil, I'm just taking my little mixed bristle brush and just brushing through everything, using my hands to brush over the top of, help distribute the oil, especially for a doll head. I don't have natural oil. If you are able to do this to your own hair, you wouldn't have to worry as much about um, adding as much oil. You can add whatever you would like, but it's um, a little less critical. Your natural hair oils can, if, if brushed through properly, especially if you use something like a boar bristle brush or something that's a little more natural bristle, you can um, really work your own naturally occurring oils through your through your hair and I'm going to just really quick take and turn this around so you can see what's going on in the back because it doesn't help you at all since the focus of the styling is what's going on in the back I'm going to try to work around the camera so you can see what the heck it is I am doing as I am brushing through and just you know just kind of letting it be curly because we're gonna bring everything together in just a moment uh, the sides especially we want to brush back a little back a little up and that's where the long stems in the curls make sense. So I'm just using my hand to hold and shape. Uh, since I don't have uh, any combs, um, uh, even though that's what was recommended, I don't have any and I feel like a lot of people won't have any. So coming through and um, showing you how to achieve the look without having to um, invest in a set of hair combs is kind of my goal today, is how to achieve a similar look without having to invest in, in hair combs. So, this is the futzing about part, which is my favorite part. 
letting the hair kind of start falling into where you want it to stay, where you don't, you know, see where it's not behaving. So I'm just, I'm just picking out curls right now. Of course, if you're doing this to yourself, see in the back of your head might be a little tricky. I'll just go by feel. Nobody's going to pay attention. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to secure the side if you don't have a hair comb. If you had a hair comb, now just imagine this is a longer teeth and a shorter comb. You would come in, pull up, turn backwards, and shove it forward. And then, ta-da! Your hair would be set with the comb. That is how you do a hair comb. I'm going to show you again. This is nice and bright. Is come up, get to about where you want it, turn it, and push it back forward. So that helps hold the hair. Because we don't have a comb as such, we're going to use bobby pins and show you how to mimic the look using bobby pins. So regular bobby pin. Um, if you really want it to stay, don't don't pop it open. Just slide it slide it in without popping it open. Make sure that the pointed side is towards the scalp. And then that one's in there. Then we're going to take a second one from the top. Slide it in and across. Then all you have to do is fluff the hair about and you can't see the pins anymore. And what I'm going to do is because we're supposed to be I'm trying to give the idea of what it would be if this was really, really, really fine hair and, and flyaway. So I'm using only products that you would use for fine flyaway hair. So I'm using the Oil Wonders Volume Rose Hairspray. And I'm just going to hold it back, hit the side a little bit, use my tail comb to just smooth everything back that way. So that way we have a little, bring, I'm using my tail comb to uh, adjust and arrange because it's okay if it's a little, little tiny bit fluffy. That's kind of part of the look is a bit fluffy. So I'm going to just figure out about where if I were to be using a comb, an actual comb, where do I want it to sit? And this feels pretty close to what I want. Comb it back. And especially if you use a comb, you can somewhat get those um, clean comb lines. Uh, and this one, because I'm right-handed, I'm starting at the top. Slide the pin. You can see, possibly pin there. Then we will take the second pin, come in from the bottom, or the bottom portion, and slide it in and across. That way it'll lock them somewhat in place. I'm going to use my little pick comb and also my hand uh, just to ensure that we are not combing out the style, but securing the style to the head and hiding the pins. Once more, a little hairspray to hold the sides in place, tail comb, smoothing things out. And this one, we had a little bit of a runaway, so I'm going to use a second, just a single bobby pin up under here and just tuck it in. It is crossing into the other ones. And then just rearrange the hair so that you can no longer see that there are any pins in here whatsoever. So thus far, I'm 
Move the doll head, not the stand. It's precariously positioned. So now that we have a little bit more what we're looking for, this I'm going to use a regular old hairpin just to encourage this top little guy to stay where we want it. And then allowing the top to come back and it's going to have a lot of height because of the fact that we did do a lot of um, stand-up curls that went incredibly uh, far back into the um, into the uh, crown. So it's going to have a lot of height here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just use the side of the brush to do just a little little bit of back brushing just to help ensure a little bit of control over the hair's uh, movement, ensuring that everything stays together fairly well and has a little, a little stronger form to the final look. Just a little bit, and the head just popped off the stand because that's really what we're all about here. And then taking a little front section and come here, little front section. Everybody in, everybody in. So, I really, 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 really want this to stay together and not fall apart. Then using my pick comb, we start uh, final arrangements, which sounds like I'm going to a funeral. Uh, final arrangements, um, letting the hair in some ways fall where, where it may, but we will be utilizing a little hairspray in a moment or two to encourage it to stay and keep keep a certain degree of flow and also you know calm it calm it down a little bit to have the kind of pulling down, pulling through. And I'm going to just take a few little regular old hairpins, just a regular hairpin. I'm going to turn her around so you can see what I'm doing for the back, which is to take and just secure the curls where I want them so that we have a little more cohesiveness to the style. A little more of the flow that I'm looking for. And this is the part where, as the artiste, you can decide how you want to adjust and arrange how you want to secure things down and also utilizing. I'm going to use the bigger hairpin just as a placeholder until I am fully hairsprayed in on both sides while we finish arranging the top. So they're not meant to stay here. These are just to help hold the hair in the shape that I'm looking for. In some ways, this kind of 
I don't know why, but I'm getting a very tippy headroom kind of vibe too. Not sure. Just coming up that way. So in order to secure a little bit more, just using these large pins as placeholders to adjust into the style that I would like. Encouraging the little guy so we're not too fluffy. Fluffy, but not too fluffy. And then I'm just going to let those play. I like that. It's not exactly, but I like what it's doing. So I'm going to a few more hairpins just to hold things in place for a moment. See what I see. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. doing. Let's see if I can even do this a little bit. Just a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit of hairspray, a little bit of hairspray all over the whole thing. A little bit of hairspray. I love this stuff. It smells delicious. Well, delicious if you like roses. It's a delicious smell for my nostrils. We'll put it that way. And just using my comb to smooth things down, hold things in place, adjust around, let it be. I'm gonna use my hair dryer for just a second. It's gonna get loud. way we can secure the hair and I'm going to start pulling all of the little or the big the big sized hairpins now that I have things mostly secure and things will adjust a little bit but it it just helps me feel like I'm making good solid hair styling choices so I can give myself some control. So here we go. Here is the slightly modified, because this hair is much shorter, uh, Vera Ellen style. The main components being the pulled back sides and the pompadour top. Um, I modified it a little bit because I really liked what these little the little curlies are doing and then we have the back where everything is coming together we have the rounded curly bottom and that is the interpretation of this kind of a style uh, as you can see this one's even a little more casual um, a little more like, okay, we did the, the set, and I'm just going to literally grab the hair, secure it here, and then that's, that's all there is to it. I hope that this can inspire you to try something of your own, whether it's just the sides pulled back, or maybe doing a little something with the top, letting your curls hang out. This will conclude today's exciting adventure in the Hollywood Hair Series, and we will look forward to next week, Sunday at 2 o'clock. We will be continuing 
the series and as this particular styling was a wet set I believe next week we will work with a heat set so curling irons and how we interpret that into a modern take on the uh, 1950s Hollywood stars um, it's there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna do Hedy Lamarr's style and and I love it's a fun style and it's really easy to make happen so that may be next week um, and until then have fun practice up re-watch the, the little live streams if you wanted to catch something that you might have missed the last time and we'll see you next sunday come on